Watch It Played. My name is Monique. And I'm Naveen. And today we're going to be playing the two-player only game Summoner Wars, the second edition designed by Colby Dauk and published by Plat Hat Games, who helped sponsor this video. That's right. And if you're interested in more playthrough videos just like this one, we make more of them over on our own YouTube channel called Before You Play, which is linked in the description below. And if you'd like to learn how to play this game, Rodney's already made a tutorial video for it, which is also linked in the description. But before we begin, if you can all do us a big favor, turn on your Klingon subtitles, just in case we make any rules mistakes, we can make those corrections there. We're going to do our absolute best to not have to use those. And I think that's it. Yep. Are you ready to begin? We're, yeah, we're ready. All right. So if you'd please direct your attention to the set of the table, we're all set up here for our two-player game of Summoner Wars 2nd Edition. Mm -hmm. So I am going to be playing on this side of the board. Yep. And uh, I have the Cave Goblins faction. And so our faction leader is Sneaks. Sneaks is sneaky. Very. <laughs> as well as the rest of the goblin horde, essentially. Mm -hmm. And so the personality of this faction is that a lot of my units are zero-cost units. So they're very, very cheap to summon, mm -hmm. but uh, they're not necessarily that strong. And so they, they benefit the most when they can attack in a horde. Yeah, when they can converge. Yes. Yeah. And so Sneaks, my leader, uh, their special ability is they are sly. And so once per turn during my attack phase, this unit can exchange places with a friendly zero-cost unit. And so that's going to be useful for uh, those times when I need to get myself out of danger or if I need to go in and try to, you know, deal those final blows to Naveen's uh, summoner over here, since the object of the game is to completely eliminate your opponent's summoner. So right. we'll see uh, what we can do with sneaks. So you have 11 health, meaning you can yes. afford 10 hits total. Uh, yeah, we're going to try not to get to 10, but <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> so who are you? Okay, I am the uh, Savannah Elves and my leader is Abwa Shi. And I only have 10 health, meaning I can afford 9, and I'm willing to take 9. Oh. I'm willing to take 9, uh, but that's the max I'm willing to take. That's quite the statement. Uh, very, very powerful attacker, but from range. So it's a 5 uh, anytime I dish, so I roll 5 die, mm -hmm. and I'm looking for bow and arrows. The general abilities of my faction is we primarily try to boost each other. So every single card has their own different kind of style, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. And so every time you boost it, it interacts differently with each type of card. So mm -hmm. some will allow me to attack more, some will give me further movement points, mm. and things like that. Mm. So it really utilizes those boost tokens. Yes, exactly. That's interesting and also very scary. Yeah, and my sum <laughs> yeah exactly. And my summoner, whenever they move, they can boost another adjacent or nearing uh, unit. Mm. So you're just dishing out uh, extra power-ups for everybody. To make everyone a little bit sweeter. All right. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I think that's it. Are you ready to see who goes first? Yeah, let's do it. All right, ready? Yeah. Oh, that got really exciting. <laughs> okay. okay, so Naveen's going first, which means uh, you're going to start with two magic. Two. And I'm going to start with three, just one more <laughs> magic. All right, we're ready to begin. I have five cards. Monique has her five cards. I start with two magic. She has three. Yep. And I'm in phase one, which is summoning. So I'm going to summon one card. It's going to be my border archer uh -oh. adjacent to the gate right behind my lioness. And remember, you can only summon orthogonally adjacent to a gate and so i have to spend the two magic that it costs here it has four life and what the border archer does is instead of moving i can boost it with one of these which will happen in the movement phase and its basic ability is whenever you have one of those you can spend one of those boosts to take a second attack action once per turn once per turn yes. so if i stacked it up with three i could still only do it once per turn but yes. it's something thank goodness for that rule <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly so uh i'm only going to summon one i spent all my magic and then now i go into the move phase i'm going to move my uh summoner i'm just going to slide it this way anytime i move my summoner i can boost something up to three uh spaces away so i'm going to boost my lioness and what the lioness does is anytime it's boosted its health is increased by one. Mm -hmm. So naturally the way you normally would do it is you would attack somebody and that would increase its boost. But this way by moving Abu Ashi, I get to boost it by one. Nice. All right, so now I'm going into the build phase. I will be building and I'm gonna build a gate. And this gate is free. I can do that and it costs uh, nothing. So it gives me five <laughs> health on that. Uh -huh. So it gets me another place where I can uh, start to summon more people. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Okay, right. so now we go into the attack phase. And uh, so because I didn't move, first of all, uh, these border archers do get that boost that I had mentioned earlier. And now I'm going to go into the attack phase. So we're going to attack with this border archer here. I'm in range. And so I get to roll two die because of that number right there. And I'm looking for bow and arrows. Zero, zero. Two bow and arrows. Sword, Come sword. on, bow and arrow. Sword, sword. 
Oh, just, just one. Just one. So take one damage. Oh, no. So this is the health of three. Yes. Okay, so I'm definitely going to do that boost that I was <laughs> just talking about. And uh, now I'm really Miss. going... Miss! Okay, so there are four out of six of the faces, I believe, have bow and arrows on both the dice. Yes! Oh, oh. that is a perfect score. Yes. So my beast rider doesn't even doesn't even get to start the game. Ah, I needed it's that thing out. to go out. So because I defeated one of her units, I get to get one magic from that. And now I go into the magic phase, so I can discard cards. Uh, I will discard this one card to get another magic, and then now I'm going to be drawing up my hand, which is three cards. Wow. Okay. Amazing. That's me. All right. So <laughs> it goes back to me yeah. for, uh, for my first turn, and I'm going to go into my summon phase. All right, so I am going to summon just one unit, <laughs> one okay. unit to start um, my turn, so, and it's going to be the another Horde Slinger. Horde Slinger, okay. Yes, and so these are, it's interesting, because they are zero cost units, but they are not very strong. They only have one health each, and uh, they're archers. The thing about them is I can use them as an extra attacking unit mm -hmm. on my turn, so it can be like a fourth or a fifth, right. you know, attacking unit, because you'll only attack with up to three. But not in this case, we no, only have two of them. We only have two, yeah. So but that's okay. That's it for summoning. Now I'm going to go into my move phase, and I'm just going to move this Horde Slinger one up so that, so that now it's within range of the mm. Border Archer, and I'm going to move this over mm. like that. And then let's move Sneaks into safety. All right, so now I'm going to build, and I will also build a gate, mm. which is going to go right there, and it's legal because it's still within the, the back three rows. It is. And now to attack. So. Yeah. Let's attack with this uh, Horde Slinger. Okay. I'm going to attack your Border Archer. It has a strength of two. This is two two Come dice. On, I need to roll. I need to roll some bow and swords. arrows. All right, let's go. Two uh, two bow and arrow. That was a perfect score. Nice. You did well there, slinger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so let's do it again now with this uh, horde slinger and attacking the lioness. So my lioness has a three value health because that's what this boost does on this one. Yes. All right. Nice. Two bow and arrows again. Mm. So just just like that. And now I do have uh, some fears about what the Horde Slingers are slinging, <laughs> but we're going to say they're slinging rocks. Yes. And that's it for my attack phase. There's nothing else I can do. So I'm going to move into my magic phase. Do I want to discard cards to gain magic? You know, I already have three, and a lot of my units are really cheap, so I'm not going to. I'm just going to draw back up to five. So one and two. All right. Back to you. Hmm. Hmm. All right, so it's my turn. I'm going to summon. I have two magic total, so I'm going to summon a spirit mage, and this one only costs one, and the moment you put it out onto the board, you instantly boost it. That's what this uh, charge says, and then what its ability is, it, it has a three range attack, Nice. and it says after I move, I can either reboost this, or I can give my boost to another unit up to three spaces away. Nice, awesome. So uh, we'll talk about that in a second. So I have to spend the one magic, uh, and that's the only summoning I'm gonna be doing for this uh, phase. So I am gonna move, and I'm gonna move the spirit mage here, and I'm gonna donate this to the lioness. No. <laughs> so now the lioness is, uh, is four total. Four health. Yeah, and uh. then the next thing I'm gonna do is, I might as well, I'm gonna boost this border archer, because it's not moving, it's pretty locked in. Okay. And then I think I'm going to move Aguashi again and then boost my Lioness again. Uh, okay, so you boosted it by putting the boost on Aguashi and it... Yes, and it exactly. Passing it over there. Mm -hmm. All right. And so by boosting a Border Archer, that actually counts as one of your three uh, turns. So I'm actually not going to be boosting this Border Archer because I'd like to move this Lioness up just a little bit. Yikes. That would take away from that, so I don't want to do that. Okay, so that is it. I'm going to be also building, and I'm going to build another gate. So I have a gate uh, oh, placed wow. it here. So we got a little bit of a defensive position, a little bit of an <laughs> offensive position. That is a wall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's some holes in it, though. Uh, okay, so now we go into the attack phase. So I have up to three attacks. So let's start off with this one here. This lioness is going to attack that uh, horde slinger. So <laughs> I have three You just need to roll one sword. One sword, and it's a five out of six chance on each die. Please blank. Okay. Oh, wow, that was... Oh, no, no you yeah. have two swords. Two Never swords, mind. Yeah. Okay, so the Horde Slinger goes away. It goes away. You get a magic for that. Uh, I do get a magic for that, and because I used the Lioness, it does boost the Lioness. Oh, so the gosh. max it can be boosted, however, is five total. So, I, you know, I'm one away from it. So its health as of right now is four. 
All okay. right. Uh, the next attack I'm going to do is this border archer to your other horse. I think slinger. its health is six. It's six, but you've already hit me twice here. Oh, the so. extra health. Okay. And anything on top of that. Yeah, exactly. Gotcha. So Okay, so now I'm going to attack with this one to that horde slinger. I just Miss. need one. Miss. Is that? Yes. Oh, my goodness. Uh, the horde slinger. <laughs> it survives. How could it? My horde slinger. Good job, horde slinger. Uh, that, was, uh, that was impressive. I just needed one. Yeah, I know. For my magic. Ah, uh, <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I'm not scared. Uh, All right. Well, then I might as well attack your gate with my spirit mage. Three. I cannot afford a blank here. Swords. Two. Yeah, two. Two with a one sword. I'll take okay, it. Okay, okay, okay. Two. I wanted three. Two is better than three. So that's it for my attack. Uh, we go to the magic phase. Do I want to discard? Ah, boy. I'm not going to discard, uh, and I will just draw up two more cards. One, and come on, something good. Two. Okay, that's me. Okay, I'm impressed that this Horde Slinger survived. I'm not um, impressed by that Horde Slinger. It is uh, my only my only unit right now. <laughs> yeah. I'm not looking really good right now. All right, I'm going to summon a few units this time because I am looking a little bit, uh, a little thin <laughs> on the board. So okay. the first unit I'm going to summon is another Horde Slinger. So we're familiar with these units already. Um, mm. That's all we've been seeing really so far. So that's going to be a zero cost unit. I'm also going to summon a Horde Clinger. So these units are interesting. They're also zero cost. They have a health of two and they are melee uh, units. But the thing that's special about this unit is it cannot move. Mm -hmm. It is totally immobile. And it's called a Clinger because the way that it works is if a unit starts its move adjacent to the Clinger, then the Clinger clings onto it. Yes. And so after that unit uh, completes its movement, then the Clinger will also move with it. Yes. And it'll like uh, it'll end its movement adjacent to whatever that, that, that unit yeah, was. So you'll that, see that in a moment. And you can even be progressing forward. Yes. Yes. With beyond. the Clinger. Yes, exactly. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So that's that. And then the third unit mm -hmm. I'm going to uh, mm -hmm. summon. You have another one. Is a champion unit. Okay. It's our first champion of the game. This is Blarf. Meet Blarf. Uh, <laughs> They're Blarf. also zero cost which is, is cool because it's a champion unit. And so with Blarf, at the start of my attack phase, I must either spend one magic to boost this guy mm -hmm. or have to add a damage to, to Blarf. Right. So basically Blarf will either continue to grow or they'll they'll hurt essentially. Yes. Okay. Um, and so it starts off with zero strength. And so for each boost that you put on Blarf, it continues to increase that strength up to a max of five. Yeah, yeah. It's nice to get this thing out early. It is. So, uh, I, I don't necessarily know if I'm going to do too much with Blarf because uh, I haven't really done <laughs> that much historically. Okay. So I'm going to start with <laughs> Blarf right there. You like Blarf there. Yeah, I would typically charge Blarf, but then it would take too long to get Blarf out. So I'm just going to put Blarf right in the middle. In um, they have a health of six, so we have time. So now we're going to move. So my first movement is going to be this Horde Slinger. They're just going to move right there, right into position so that I can reach this Lioness. <laughs> um, really? We're going to leave Blarf where Blarf is. And so the other movement is my Horde Slinger. So I'm going to move one, two. And because the Slinger has a Clinger with it, it's going to fall into place right there, oh, adjacent to aggressive move. the Slinger. We have to do something. Yeah. Uh, I think that's it for movement. I'm going to build another gate right here, just so we have uh, some options, because this gate is already starting You're to... kind of uh, mirroring what I got here. It's starting to become damaged. <laughs> we got mirroring gate defenses. I like it. It makes sense. Is that right? Yeah, <laughs> I didn't yeah, even notice I'm, that I'm until here, now. You're there. I'm on the inside, you're uh, on the inside, and then well, you are starting ones. See how it feels then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't like it. I have nothing going on over there. That's it for that. So let's attack. Sure. <laughs> uh, now we're going to be actually going to be able to use the Horde Slinger as an extra attack. Well, let's start by feeding Blarf. So I have to spend a, a magic to boost Blarf. May I have a boost, please? Yes. So now Blarf has one strength, which we are going to use now to attack the Lioness. I need one sword. Miss. Please. Miss. Oh my gosh, please. Five out of six chance. Sword. Sword. Awesome. So this is going to turn into a three. Take this back. Yes, that's right. And so this has a strength of... Technically six total. Six. Okay, yeah. that's not good because there's no way that I could... I could uh... Actually defeat it. Yeah, but I should have thought okay. of that. So that's one. The next one I'm going to attack with is my Horde Slinger. And I'm going to attack the Border Archer here. So for two, two strength, two, one. One. Oh. It has a strength of four. Are you kidding me? <laughs> It survived. Oh my god! That's the border archer that just missed the double arrow. This is so bad. So it was one, Ooh. two. I'm gonna attack with the horde clinger against the spirit mage. Okay. It needs two. It's a melee. Two swords. Melee attack. Five out of six chance on both. 
Two. Two. Awesome. Yeah. So this goes out. All right, that's fair. I get a magic for yeah. that. <laughs> wow, the word clinger is the one hero here. The unsung um, hero. And so that was my max of three attack, but because I have the Horde Slinger, I can attack again. And I'm just going to shoot the Lioness, okay. even though it will not take it away. The wound it pretty hard. Yeah. yeah. All right, here we go. One. One. Wow, that Lioness is so strong. Yeah. So this is still a max of five boosts, right? Correct, yeah. So, okay, so, so I can gonna... boost it one more time Ugh. when I use it. You know, I'm going to do this now. What I'm going to play an event. Okay. Because uh, that did not turn out <laughs> well for me. Okay. So this is Enrage the Horde. And uh, you must play. It's an epic event. And you have to play it during your magic phase. It cost me one magic to, to use it. And so it says, I can target all friendly zero cost units. And each target can resolve an extra attack. What? So it's <laughs> going to be, uh, they're all zero cost. But no. the only um, unit that cannot attack again is going to be the Horde Clinger. It doesn't have a target. So I'm going to attack with these three. Oh, shit. So let's go with Blarf first. That's not bad. Yeah. Let's go, Blarf. Miss. <laughs> Come on, One miss. sword. All One right. One sword. You got a sword. What a good event. I figure the Lioness is only going to get stronger again yeah. next turn, so let's just do it now. Uh, the Horde Slinger. Are you going to try to take out my Lioness? I want to. So all you need is one. Five. I just need one. One bone arrow. One bone arrow, please. Miss. Sword. <laughs> Two solid swords. Please. please. One. Oh. That was close. This is the first one. I, my eye was on that <laughs> one, and, and, I, and then Me my too. eye went, whoop. Oh. I got really scared, so the lioness goes out. All right. It was a, it, wow. Wow. I was, really uh, wanted to use that lioness on, on Blarf there. That, that brings me Had you not had joy. that event, that would have been good. All right. Okay. I got a magic for that. You did, too. So let's uh, let's attack your border archer with my horde slinger. Miss. I need one. Come Same on. thing. One. Just Come one. On. Miss. Just one. Uh, my, oh, well, I got two. All right. What an event, Monique. Fantastic. It was the event of the season. Thank wow. You. So these guys go out. Okay. And I think I get I get one more just yeah. like that. So I think I gained two magic. So now I'm at four. That was a good event. And that's it. That was a success. That, that was, was a, the, yeah, that was, that was, I would say. <laughs> good event there. Pretty successful. In Rage. The Horde was so angry. And you protected Blarf. <laughs> yeah. So I don't have any more cards in my hand. So I'm just going to draw two, three, four, five. A new hand of five. Hmm. Let's see what I get oh okay yep. that's me back to you okay that was uh that was pretty good on you you took out what three of my units there and you've progressed i'm trying i was trying to break down that wall a little bit because that starting uh little arrangement that you had there was really scary yeah i don't have enough i don't have a lot of magic that's my problem right now i mean fortunately my units are pretty cheapy in health so True. you can knock one out and get a magic that way all right, so it's my summon phase. Uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to put out another Lioness. Uh, okay. Exactly the thing that you uh, took out for that me. I feared. So that's going to go there. That's going to cost me two magic. Uh, boy. Sheesh, Monique. Okay. <laughs> so uh, now we're going to go into my move phase. So I'm going to move uh, my summoner here. Okay. That's and one. That's one. So after I do that, I can place one of these tokens on something that's three away. So mm -hmm. I'm going to place it on this border archer. Okay. Uh, because I will be moving the border archer one like that. Okay. All right. So I got some holes here <laughs> that, <laughs> that need to be filled. Uh, and then, unfortunately, I can't move anymore. Uh, well, I guess... You can oh, move yeah. your lioness. Ooh, my lioness. Yes. What am I doing? One, two. So now that Blarf. lioness is next to Blar. <laughs> We're trying to surround Blar. Survive, Blarf. Survive. I know. So let's go ahead and start attacking. So I am going to attack I'm because I'm not building anymore. Okay. And I'm going to attack with that lioness first, okay? So okay. three swords to Blar. No. Three, three. swords to Blar. Uh, oh, because I attacked with my lioness, it now becomes a three health. And then now we are going to use the border archer against Blarf. So two to Blarf. Two. Two. Oh, Blarf. Blarf is hit. Blarf just needs one more, one more hit. Yes, and uh, I will be using my extra attack of the border archer and rolling. There you Got go. Got it. Uh, Blarf is out. That was the shortest lived champion. Yes. The well, world at least you don't have to focus on spending seen. magic on Blarf anymore. Yeah, that's which true. Which could be a detriment because you have Blarf another was... champion that needs a lot of magic to come out. Blarf was expensive in magic there. Yeah. Potentially, Potentially. that interest. <laughs> yes. So I did gain my uh, my one um, magic from taking out Blarf. Good. Okay, I'm going to discard one card uh, okay. in order to get one more magic, and then I'll draw up to my hand of five. Okay, I am... Yep, I'm ready for you. <laughs> <laughs> ready <laughs> to for To do me. whatever you're going to do. I, I, I don't like this. This. This is a problem for me. 
Okay, I'm going to uh, put out a few units oh, this time. A few? Yes. Ew. So... I don't like it. The first unit I'm going to put out is my my Beast Rider. This oh. is the first time I'm putting out one of these uh, units. It's going to cost me two magic. One, two. Okay. It has a health of three and a melee strength of three. Shoot. And the thing about the Beast Riders is they are riding on an animal. I believe it's either some kind of a dog or a wolf. I'm not quite sure. A beast. And uh, so during the movement phase, instead of moving up to two spaces... It can move up to four in a straight, clear line. Yes. And if you move at least three spaces, then it has an extra strength. So that is what is special about the Beast Riders. Um, uh -huh. They're blitzy. And you know, I'm going to summon this Beast Rider here, actually next to this gate, mm. because I would like to summon a, a Horde Climber uh, right there. No. So this is, uh, I'm not sure if we saw this one earlier. I think this might be the first time we're seeing it, mm -hmm. but it is, it is a zero cost unit. Uh, with a health of three, a melee strength of one, so not very strong. But the thing about these climbers is they climb. Yeah. So they can move <laughs> yes. up to three spaces and they can move through structures. So this is my only unit that can um, move through structures. Uh -huh. So we're going to move. And so the first uh, unit that's going to move is my horde climber. So I'm going to go one, two. Just get that into position right in front of the archer. Okay. Uh, I'm going to move my beast rider right into there. Okay. And then I'm going to move my horde slinger one, two. Just like that. And so because it had the clinger <laughs> next to it, it's also going to come and fall into place right mm. there. So that was three movements. Well, that's it for my move phase. I'm not going to build anything, so now we're going to go into attack. Let's see, this is a health of four. Mm -hmm. oh, it would be so nice to get that out. But this is only a, a, a max, max of three. three. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to, to, to play an event. I'm, I'm kind of going event heavy in the, in the front on here, which is scary for the later half of the game. So this event is called Pile On. <sighs> It is zero cost, no. <laughs> and uh, so for the rest of my turn, uh, I, I have an ability that, that's called Gang Up. And so whenever a, a a friendly unit attacks, it has plus one strength for each other friendly unit that's adjacent to its target. And so, so this is specifically going to be one. for this over here. Yeah. So this is going to have a strength of three and two instead of less than that. I'm going to go ahead and place that event right there because it's active. So let's start by attacking with my Beast Rider. I want to know whether or not this Lioness is going down. Come on. Survive, oh, Lioness. This Just is the one. I need you to survive. That I need to go out. I need the Lioness to survive. Three swords. Let's go. One, two, three. Yes. Ah, terrible. That could have gone pretty sour. Oh, I needed it to survive. One magic. So that's one attack. For my next attack, I'm going to do the Horde uh, Climber. So this is two, two strength. Yes, because of the because of the the pile on. Yes, the pile on event. That's why she gets one extra sword. Two swords. One, one sword. sword. Oh, good. That's not good. Very good. That's my second attack. This is my my third one. And the you horde get clinger. Three because of the same event. This needs to be a perfect score, yes. or else the archer survives. Come on, miss. Three. Oh. All right. The the melee ones are a lot a lot more you know. This five out of relieving. six. Yeah. 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 So this one goes out. Right? Uh, yeah. Health of, that's, health of four. That's it. So there's one more magic. And then... Anything else? That was, <laughs> that was technically all three of my attacks. But because I have these slingers who can uh, act as an extra unit to attack, they both can attack once each. So I think we're going to use them to attack the gate. Yeah. That's the only only thing they can attack right and now. And the really. event does not matter for this one because there's nothing surrounding yeah. that gate. Unfortunately, this one's not adjacent to the gate. That would have been cool. So let's do this one first. All right. Swords. Two. Oh. One <laughs> and two. Oh. Well, it has a health of five, so I'm not going to take it out. That's and good. then this one. <laughs> Let's go sling. One. One. So this turns into a three. Yeah. All right. Wow, That's, Monique. That was that, uh, that was not good. That was that attack phase. Uh, so into my magic phase, do I want to you have discard? More? Oh, okay. I'm pretty comfortable with where I am in terms of my <laughs> <Wow>. magic track. <laughs> so I'm not going to discard any cards. I'm just going to draw three. One, sure. two, and three. Well, I'm very uncomfortable where I am as I only have my <laughs> summoner out on the board. Oh. You got a summon. Summoner's got a summon. All right. So I'm going to play one card for my summoning phase. And I'm okay. going to summon a rhino. Oh, perfect placement. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so that rhino is going to go there. And that's going to cost me both my magic. And what I'm going to do with the rhino, uh, so this guy's going to get hurt. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. Well, what does the rhino yeah. do? So the rhino, uh, it has five health. And basically what I can do is I, I have a base movement of two, just like always. But anytime this thing is boosted, uh, then it can have plus one movement for each boost up to five extra. So it can mm. technically move up to seven times if it's maxed out. 
Uh, but the rhino can move through common um, common units, enemies, yeah, any enemies or units, yeah. Mm -hmm. And anytime you go through, it deals one damage, so it basically uh, like spheres them. So um, let's... that is that's that's interesting. So it is a trampling unit. Trampling unit, yes. Okay. So uh, so your mage uses boosts to dish out more boosts. Mm -hmm. Your a lioness uses boosts to increase its health. Yep. And then the rhino does it to increase the distance that it travels. Exactly. So that's all the characteristics that we've seen so far. Yep, exactly. Okay, cool. Okay, so uh, I, I, man, I'm surrounded. This is really bad. Uh, so <laughs> it's the, kind of what the cave goblins do. Yeah. It's, we, this is a horde, the horde moment. <laughs> yeah, you use those those events pretty well. So okay, I'm gonna move my rhino through your horde climber. One, two. Yeah. Like that, so that hits that. Uh, I will also move this one. One, two. I think. Okay. Yeah, I think so. All right, it's time to attack. So uh, let's just go ahead and attack with my main. So my oh, no. summoner. My slinger. Five. I'm looking to hurt you one. I'm pretty sure I'm going to get this. And if not, it'd be a shame. Okay, yes. At least one bow and arrow. You're oh, gonna... no. Hit. This is so... This is funny because now... Uh... Not the clinger. <laughs> the clinger yeah. was clinging on. Yeah, the clinger is unclinged. And then you destroyed my slingers. They're just kind of stuck. I did say, yeah. <laughs> and now it's frozen right here behind so your rhino. I, I think instead of hitting this one, I think I'm going to go for this one. It's the same difference. Second, I'm looking for two hearts here or two hearts there. Okay. Um, I'd rather you be stuck, unable to move as yeah. of right now. It's so a rock. It's a rock. So I get to roll two, and I really need to roll two swords. Two, Two swords. swords. Okay, good. So I get another magic. This goes out. Uh, and then that oh, is... Oh, no. My horde is slowly, slowly crumbling. Unhoarding. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So then now I go into the magic phase, and I think I will discard... I will discard two cards to go up one, two, and I'm going to draw three now. One, two, and three. Okay, that's me. All right. Uh, my plans were slightly foiled <laughs> there. So uh, that was the, that's the best I could do right there. We're I, gonna... Yeah. Have to, to try to recover. All right, since uh, since I have an opportunity here, what I think I'm just going to try to make a push. Oh no! Let's summon another horde climber right there. Okay. This is very similar to this one. Yeah. So that's going to cost zero, and let's just do another horde climber right uh, there for good measure, because we do want to encircle this rhino. Leave me alone. Are you going to dogpile my I'm rhino? I'm going to try to. So my rhino. Let's move. So the horde climbers, again, they move up to three spaces. So it's going to go one, two, three. Yeah, it makes sense. It's not very strong. It only has an attack of yeah. one. But we're going to try to hit a bushy as much as we can I was really right hoping you didn't have a beast rider so that you could have just spawned it there. And I just gambled. I totally gambled. So yeah, Well, so you gambled glad. correctly. Yeah, had I had uh, a beast rider here, that would have been terrible. Th yeah. That, that thing. Yeah, I gambled. So that was one move. I'm going to move um, my horde climber. It's going to go one, two, three. And then my beast rider, I'm going to move one, two. Interesting. Then I'm going to play an event. What is this? So this is sneak. Sneak costs zero <gasps> magic. You use it during your move you phase. Leave me alone. You can target any number of zero cost units and then force each target one space. What? So I'm going to target this one and this one. Oh. It's going to move one space over. This one's going to move one space <laughs> right there. Yeah. And then, oh, by the way, I was supposed to start my turn by uh, discarding my my event. previous event yeah so that gets discarded and so wow. that's it for that Unique. and uh let's attack <laughs> i i'm also gonna play one more event i'm so sorry to be in but more? I, i'm gonna spend my other pylon oh horrid. event here so this is the, the one that we saw earlier so i think this is my last one good so I'm, I'm trying to spend all of my juices right now just to try to get i mean like, a it's big not bad early, you're gonna get to roll hit. four die four sword die which is great so that's that's gonna stay here, and so that's gonna yeah that increases the number of dice depending on um, adjacent friendly units. Okay, we're also gonna do some risky things. This is probably not smart, but we're just going to make this game <laughs> kind of a a big brawl. Okay. Right? Because we're gonna we're gonna involve sneak oh, in a second. Oh, <laughs> you. Okay. So I'm gonna hit you, but you're probably gonna hit me hard too. So we'll see how this works. I accept. Um, the first attack we're gonna do is this beast rider is gonna attack the rhino. So it's gonna hit the rhino for four. Oh. Wow. Four four dice because of my pylon. Yeah, that, that event is too good. Here we go. One, two, three, three, just three. three. Okay. okay. Either way, because oh. this one gets attacked for two because of pylon. So. But I'm not going to use it to attack. Oh, so we can only attack three that's times. True. That's true. So then I'm going to go over here that's to the right. board climber and attack 
a bushi okay. or two dice. It's better be two swords. Here we go. One, One sword. sword. Yes. Mm. Are you coming, sneaks? <laughs> that didn't go as planned. <laughs> Now I feel like I've wasted my events. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. You know, I don't think it's going to be worth it to involve sneaks at this point. Because sure. if I bring sneaks in over there, it's going to be too too much damage. So I take back what I said, and I'm just going to attack you again with the other Horde Climber. All right. So two more dice. Come on, just one. I can accept Two one. swords. Two swords. Two swords. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So this turns into a three. So Naveen's summoner has now been hit for three. You have seven health left. And he's currently and... surrounded still. So yes. it's not like anything. Is, that was another uh... thing that I felt like would be fine because you can't really get I out can, of this. I you can have only to attack, attack one, one of them. Yeah. So the Horde Slinger is going to be <laughs> yes. my extra attacking unit to attack the gate. Leave me alone. Come on. Two bow arrows. That'd be one. great. Two. Uh... Yes. The gate is gone. That's All right, out. so I think I Shoot. get a magic for that. You do. And that's it. That is going to be the end of my attacking. Of your reign. That was not too bad. Not as good as I was <sighs> hoping it would be, but I'm glad that the gate is gone. So I'm not going to discard any cards. I just have one card in my hand. I'm just going to drop two, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, <laughs> back to you. Your poor rhino. Can you oh, imagine yeah. what this would look like in real life? <laughs> no. I think I might be on the Rhinos team if that were the case. <laughs> okay, so summon phase. I'm going to place out my border archer here. Nice. That's that one that uh, if I don't move it, I get to charge it. And if I charge it, then I get to hit again. So let's go ahead and spend one, two. The next thing, because I have two more, is I think I'm putting out another lioness. Okay. We're going to have to do it. So let's kind of sure up this area here. That's going to cost me another one, two. And how do I protect myself here? <laughs> so now it's all about move. Okay, so I don't think I want to move this border archer. So I'm going to put one on this. So that's my one movement point. Uh, okay. The other one is this rhino. You need to plow. I think I'm going to plow. So I think I'm, I'm going to dedicate this archer to try to take out this beast. And okay. I think I'm going to dedicate him to take out that one right there. Okay. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to go... One, two, through. So that's one damage to it. Okay. So that's one move, one move. I should probably attack with my lioness because every time I attack with them, they uh, they gain a boost. Yeah. So I'm going to put yeah, myself yeah. in position here. Okay. And so that means Abu Ashi is definitely going to take at <laughs> least one potential hit because they can only attack so many times. We are a perfect square. Yeah. <laughs> I'm debating, do I even want to move the Lioness? I probably won't, because I definitely want to get rid of these. So I think I will hold the Lioness back, okay. knowing that I only get three attack. Okay, so that is my move phase. I am going to rebuild that gate that Monique so nice. lovely broke down. So we'll put that there. Oh, you had another gate in your hand. <laughs> yes. Okay, and now it's time to attack. So let's go ahead and just attack with, uh, with the main. With so, the uh, yeah. Who are you attacking? Uh, let's attack... I'm going to attack this one okay. because I don't like the idea of you coming here and just whoop, coming down on me. So. Sure. That is probably overkill, right? Three of one, them. Oh, no, that's exactly... Oh, you had one hit on it. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So this is so out. I gain one. That goes out. Yep. So Abua is definitely going to get hurt, <laughs> unfortunately. But uh, let's go ahead and do the border archer attacking the beast rider. So I dip to do two. I just need to get two... Please. Oh, okay, that's one. One. So it's, it's a, it was a bow and arrow? Yep, bow and arrow. So one. Okay. So you get one hit. I'm going to spend another one. I need to roll two bow and arrows, please. So this is here, right? Yes. The horde climb has a damage? Okay. Zero. One. Another one. No. One. One. For this? Yeah. Oh, it lives. It lives. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. <laughs> Oh, boy. The reason why I put this rhino specifically here was to try to counteract the potential for what just happened there because this one can only do a one-hit damage versus this one can definitely take out my rhino over mm -hmm. there. So I'm actually going to use the rhino to take out the beast rider. Okay. Uh, so, so that was so you did this attack, that one, and now the rhino? Yeah, this one, this one, the boost for yes. the extra one. And okay. Then, yeah. Sword, sword. Sword, we sword. Go. We got it. Beast rider it's out. is like, done. I gained this magic. All right. Needed to happen. I really like the Beast Riders. Yeah. <laughs> and I think that is that. Now I'm going to discard. Yeah, I'm going to discard a card to gain another magic. And then now we are going to draw. 
Okay. One, two, three, and four. Okay, back to you. All right. And so just in case this is confusing, by the way, my uh, draw deck is here and my discard is here and yeah. it's at the opposite for Naveen. Yeah, discard. That's why he's been drawing and discarding from a different place. All right, I'm going to summon a few more units. Ugh. So we're going to... They're gonna all free. <laughs> we're going to start by summoning Smeg. So oh, Smeg no. is another champion unit. And uh, this is, the, I think, the second one that we're seeing um, yeah. now. And it's the only other one that's zero cost. But Smeg has four health. It's a strength of two um, range. Mm -hmm. And Smeg is a magic junkie. So at the end of my turn, I either have to spend one magic uh, in order to keep Smeg present on the board, or Smeg disappears. Yep. I can also choose Smeg as an extra attacking unit during my attack phase. So very similar to the uh, Horde Slingers. Oh, so I'm going to no. put Smeg right there. I don't like it. I'm also going to to uh, summon another Horde Clinger, my friend, the Horde Clinger. I do love love those uh, those units. Mm. And a Horde Slinger right there. Oh. So all zero cost. Now we move. So this is tricky. I definitely want to move my Horde Climber here. One, ooh, do I want to move that way? Let's move it this way. One, two. I'm just going to keep Abushi here. So that's one unit. Smeg needs to move up one space. Yeah. Or else they won't be within range of Abua. So that's two. And then I better move the Horde Climber out of the way so that my Slinger can reach the Lioness. So let's just move it one, one, right there. So that was three units that I've moved. All right, so let's attack. Mm. So let's start with the Horde Clinger. I'm just going to see if I can take out this Rhino. Oh, Rhino. Strength of two. Miss. Two swords. One miss. One. One. Yes. Oh my gosh, One. no. Good job, Rhino. That needed to happen. No, that didn't. needed to go out. Why? <laughs> because I'm not going to attack it with the Horde Climber. Good. Because we're going to try to do some damage to Abua here. Of course. Oh, it's the name gosh, of the game. Terrible. Leave my Rhino alone. Come <laughs> okay. on. Let's do uh, the Horde Climber. So it's strength of one. Come on, I just need one sword. One sword. No. That's bad. Perfect. You know, we're going to take some risks because okay. I can stand to take some damage on Sneaks, I think. And... I really want to try to hit Abua hard. So okay. we're going to swap in Sneaks. This is the moment. Ooh. So once per turn during the attack phase, you can swap in Sneaks in exchange for... Sneaks is here, right? Yep, yep. In exchange for a zero-cost unit. So we're going to do this. Okay. You're going and for it, huh? Sneaks is going to be my third, technically, technically my third unit attacking. Yes. Sneaks has a strength of three. Miss. Three melee. Only two. Summoner versus summoner. Two. One, two, three. Ah, shoot. So now we got six on Abua. Oh, boy. I need to hit Abua for four more. Yeah, well, you're going to get a two strike here with this extra, with Smeg. Yes, and I might be able to do this twice. And you'll definitely be able to hit another because this is a free extra attack. That's true. So let's do that now. So I have uh, two Horde Slingers and Smeg who can all be chosen as extra attacking units. So Amazing. let's start with this Horde Slinger, uh, and it's going to hit this Rhino. Oh, I was not initially going to hit the gate, but let's just hit the Rhino. So <laughs> Leave the Rhino two. alone. Two, one arrow. Got it. It's one. It only needed one. I think it only needed well, one. Well, it, it hit two for two, yet. so that's good. So at least the rhino is out. My rhino. So we get one magic for that. And then, so as a horde slinger, let's do this horde slinger against your lioness. So here we go. One. One, okay, okay. So lioness has just one, Something one damage. Going on, yeah. And then Smeg is going to to Abua over Man, here. So many, so many options for you. Two. One, zero. Zero. <gasps> That's terrible. Uh, Snag was supposed to be like a pow pow because uh, now Sneaks is in. All right. Excellent. Desperate times ca uh, calls for desperate measures. So... That's the, I'm done with my attack wow. phase, going into magic. <laughs> I am playing my last in Rage of the Horde. So it's going to cost me one magic to play this. All friendly units, all friendly zero cost units can resolve an extra attack. Oh my gosh. So... I'm literally doing this just so Smeg can hit Abua at least one more time, because I'm definitely not going to be able to take out Naveen's um, summoner right yeah. now. So let's start with the Horde Slinger versus the Gate. So all your level zeros? All, all level zeros, That cost yeah. you a magic to play, right? It did, yeah. So I went from uh, six to five. Okay. One. One. One oh. damage to the Gate. I wish uh, that was this one. <laughs> do I have any other zero cost? You oh, yeah. This Horde Slinger versus the Lioness. Leave my Lioness alone. One. One, which is enough. Oh, it's out. Yeah. Okay. Gosh. So that's one. And then... I'm just standing on the sidelines my, here, just like... My Horde Climber can't do anything, so Smeg, let's go. Can't believe your champion costs zero to you. All of my events are pretty much gone, though, so here we go. Zero! Zero! Oh, 
<laughs> oh, excellent. <laughs> yes. Oh no, that's not good. Sneaks. Hi, you're sneaks. So <laughs> Oh, the tides, the tides. Oh, the tides. How are they going to turn? Very well. Oh, right. good. Well, I wasn't expecting that. So that's it. I will end my turn and I'm going to draw up back up to just to five. One, two, oh. three, four. <laughs> Naveen, now's your chance. I, I, I'm going to go for it, but I don't know if I can pull it off. I also have to spend one magic to yes. uh, keep Smeg alive. So, or else Smeg disappears just like that <laughs> into a poof of yeah, dust. And the, yeah, just gone. Okay, so uh, I think there's an opportunity here to possibly take out Sneaks. No! Possibly. I, I, this is going to require a lot to go my way. I blame Smeg, because Smeg was supposed to be my hero right yeah, there. Yeah, Smeg, Smeg, And I spent kerplumped. magic on you to keep you present. <laughs> so, uh, okay. In the summon phase. All right. I'm going to be playing this event. It's called Chant of Weaving. And what it says is I can target a friendly unit, so this one right here. And I may summon units adjacent to that target. Oh. Boost the target each time you summon a use unit adjacent to it. What? Yes. So. Oh, so you just want to be able to summon here. Yes. That's the whole point. Because if not, I. Yeah. My own person's here in the way. Sure, so, it makes sense. Uh, so I'll put that there. And then to that. So that boosts this one according yes, to the event. According to the chant. Of and it weaving. costs me nothing. So that's that. That's nice. Okay. So now I'm still in the summoning phase. By the way, I'm supposed to discard this event. Oh yeah, those events, yeah. Uh, well, the pylon stays. It's just the Enraged Phil Horde. That's right. Because yeah. the pylon's the only one that was active. So the next thing I will do is I'm going to summon a Spirit Mage. And I'll just summon it right here. And that comes boosted already. Okay, so that's all the summoning I'm going to be doing. So now I want to move. And I'm going to move... Oh, wait. Did you pay for this one? Oh, yeah. You know what? I have to pay these two. Yes. Okay. So it sh I started with four. It's one, two, three. So, yes, I should have one. Perfect. Yes, good. Not that it's going to matter if you actually take out sneaks I, yeah, <laughs> this turn. That's true. <laughs> All right. Do but your... My best. Do your best. Okay. So I'm moving. So we're going to move the Spirit Mage. One, two. When you move the Spirit Mage, you can donate the boost that's on it to some other unit of mine that is adjacent within three. One, two, three. I'm going to donate it here. Perfect. I'm also not going to move my border archer, and I'm going to put one more on top of it. Ah, so that's two movements. Two. And then I'm going to move Abu Ashi. I don't like the look of this. I don't know what you're about to do. I'm going to move Abu Ashi and put another boost on it, you because that's be what its ability me. is within three spaces. One, two, three. I don't like this. I feel, <laughs> I feel an event coming. <laughs> For some reason. Well, we're going into the attack phase, and there oh, is an event. I knew it. It's called Chant of Power. Oh it costs me one. And what this says is, target a common or champion within three spaces of my summoner. One, two, three. This unit has this ability until the end. It's called Imbued Strength. This unit has plus one strength for each <gasps> boost that it has on it to a maximum of five. So right now, this has a five, and this has a five. The chant of power. My days. Your um, days, my sneaks. Sneaks. Are numbered. It was a little too sneaky. <laughs> okay. Yeah. But if I miss, then it's over for me, because <laughs> Monique's basically going to come in and, and take me out. So, I'm going to try. Yeah. This is it. This is the game, right? Yeah, this is the game, right? Go for it. Okay. Well, who's going first? Uh, let's take. Let's do my summoner because this will this will be more exciting here. Okay. So five rolls. One, two, three, four. Four. Okay. Not, not a perfect okay, score, but you perfect. still did four damage to four. sneaks. Okay, you need eleven total hits. So seven more. Seven more. Okay. You can do seven. So because of this, uh, we have five to roll here. Okay. Okay. So One, nothing. two, three, four. Four. Oh, oh. gosh. So it's, wow. So this is now at eight. Eight. Okay. And because it's a border archer, you can, uh, once per turn after this unit attacks, you yeah. can spend one of these. So now, because the chant of power is active, instead of rolling five die, I roll four die. Three, six, seven, eight. So you only need to hit three. Yes. <laughs> oh, this is gosh. it. So if I hit three... I win. Yeah. <laughs> and if I don't, then I lose. So let's go. Two. Oh, no. Two. 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 No. Yes. Oh. oh. <laughs> no. And the groan uh, can be heard across the across land. The land. <laughs> 
All right. Well, it looks nice. Oh, ten. I it was amazing. Ten. That was needed eleven. So Naveen only rolled two, uh, two bow and arrows here. So that's let's let's do that. So it's gonna add. There you go. I did, of, oh, twelve. Three. So three. Oh no, sorry. Me. Oh, you did it. Oh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> three, six, nine, ten. Okay. Well, that was two attacks. Do you have anything else under your sleeve to deal that final blow, perchance? So this attacked, that attacked, and... Um, yeah, you definitely get a third. To have unit. fun, I'm going to have the uh, this border archer take out that one right there. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Oh, man. <laughs> <Miss>! <laughs> you know what? I'm going to spend it to take another one. Take that, horde climber. Take this. One. one. Oh, it doesn't <laughs> even take enough. it out. <laughs> The horde climber survived. Uh, wow. Well, well, do your best, Monique. Let's see what we could do. So I'm is it draw back up to, me? to five cards. <laughs> Dang right. it! So we are hoping that this is it. Now, uh, Naveen Summoner only has six damage. I need to do four damage four this damage. turn, or else Sneaks is well. Sneaks could sneak out of that that uh, area, so it might not even be totally done if I can't do this. But we're gonna try. So uh, to summon. Okay, since I'm going for it, I'm only going to summon one unit because we're only going to use what, uh, or we're only going to put out what we're going to use. Okay. So this is this is so funny because when I first started playing as this faction, uh -huh. I was like, this unit is terrible, but it's the Horde Klinger. Oh, no. These, these, you know, these units seem like they're not too great, but oh, they're, no. they're actually awesome. Um, yeah. It's going to cling on to Smeg. Yeah. <laughs> Smeg, the unit who I was really upset about last time, so... That's a zero cost unit, and uh -huh. I think that's gonna be it for that summoning phase. Oh no. So we're just gonna move. I know what's happening. We are going to move <laughs> Smeg. Smeg. Yeah. Uh one, two. And because the Klinger clung onto Smeg, the Klinger is going to uh fall into place there. right there. That's one unit, and then Sneaks Shoot. is gonna move in right there. So we have you literally cornered, Abuashi. <laughs> it's literally cornered. Literally. Yeah. yeah. Uh that's it for well. I guess I might as well just move my my slinger over here. Oh, right, you know what? No, forget it. I'm gonna leave it. You know, this is this is <laughs> <You're> pointless. Like, <laughs> so okay. that that's that. Ah. Let's go into the attack phase. We're not All building right. anything. So by the way, pylon gets discarded yes. at the start of my turn. Yes, no pylon I for this one for sure. Remember to discard those. Okay. Five swords total. So you want to do piecemeal? You want or how do you want to do this? You can just roll all five if you want. <laughs> I just need four. I really just need yeah. four. Let's start with sneaks. Oh, because okay. Sneaks does have the opportunity to move out of that situation if I need Sneaks to. So here we go. Three dice. All swords. I don't feel good. All swords. Two swords. Two, two, swords. two swords. Two swords. Two swords. Okay. All right. So we're at three, six, seven, eight. So I need to hit <laughs> two more times. Can are you, are this... you bailing first? Are well, <laughs> I think it would be cool to kind of finish out the game with Sneaks next to just Abushi. Completely cornered. Just summoner v. Summoner looking at each other yeah, in the eyes. I guess you have the option to move later. So. Let's try to deal the final blow with the MVP of the game, the Horde Klinger. Klinger. Two swords. No. Two swords. Yes. Two swords. Two swords. Ah. That is it. The Horde Klinger has saved hit. the day. So this that okay. turns into a three. And we have three, six, nine. Ten. ten. The game is over. The wow. Cape Goblins have taken it. It was ten to ten. I started with ten health, and you started with eleven health. Ten. I said I was willing to take nine hits. <laughs> and I took the tenth. Oh, we took it to the very end there. That was yeah, man. Gosh. Just some luck there. That, that was, was intense. Yeah, that was good. I was thinking. I was Ooh. really hoping that I would be able to take out Abushi in that last in the turn because one, yeah. I had those events that I just like played back to back. You know, I. I... But Smeg did not. I mean, Smeg was great because uh, I was able to use uh, the Clinger to, to cling on to Smeg, yeah. and then we brought brought the Clinger over. Yeah, he didn't technically but... work out because had you rolled well on yeah. your previous one, it w yeah, yeah, it would have been pretty bad. So the thing that's cool about Smeg and kind of what I wanted to do, which I didn't have a chance to do, is whenever you're done with Smeg, if you don't want to give your opponent the satisfaction of getting a magic by destroying that unit, you just don't spend the magic, yeah. and then and then poof, Smeg vanishes. He's gone. So, well, well played. Good Thank job. You. And you know what? Nice. I don't actually remember if I spent a magic to uh, oh. to keep Smeg alive last time, so let's just spend that now, just in case. I may it's true. have. I don't think you did. But I had plenty of, of magic to last. <laughs> yeah. So, anyway, that was intense. Invalid. I just want to mention <laughs> that uh, my third champion, who I was really hoping to bring out, oh, no. is the Eater. 
And the Eater is the only uh, of the three champions that, that costs magic, and it's cost six magic. But the thing that's, that's, that's funny about the Eater is you have to co constantly feed the Eater. Yes. Each round at the end of your attack phase, if this unit didn't destroy a unit this turn, then you either destroy the Eater or an adjacent unit to the yeah, Eater. Exactly. So this is a, a hungry champion, yeah. and it has a health of nine, nine. Yeah. strength of five. So I was kind of trying to figure out when to summon this one, but... Didn't didn't uh, didn't have to I guess. Yeah, I didn't get any of my champions out, but yeah. Did you have any any one that you thought? I actually would have had been to cool? dis. I had to discard two. You of discarded them. the champion. My first one was this one here. It's Miti Mumwai, and uh, it cost eight magic. And oh, it was in wow. my original hand, and it has eleven heart, only one strength. But it says this unit has plus one strength for each boost. It has. Oh, so, so has, I would want to boost this up. Yeah. yeah. But it costs eight, and it was clogging up my hand early on. Yeah, and I, and, you know, you're kind of surrounding me, and it's like, I, right. I, I just got to ditch it. Yeah, so. I can see that. I can see how yeah. that would be, would be really powerful, especially with all those units who dish out extra boosts, like yeah. your own summoner or the yeah. spirit mages. Yeah, if, if that'd be cool. If I had like maybe four. Uh, going into it, then yeah. I can like discard a couple, get a, right. you know a couple more, and then I can just put it out for that one eight, and then really try to keep it alive and boost yeah. it. But it, I never saw an opportunity to do it. Right. And it was pretty early where you were kind of closing in on me, and I was like, I got to get rid of it just yeah. to survive. That makes sense. Yeah. Well, well that's it. There you go. Yeah. Good job. Thanks. Final high yeah. five. <laughs> Well, there you have it. That was Summoner Wars 2nd Edition. Thank you all so much for joining us today for our playthrough. We hope you enjoyed watching as much as we enjoyed playing. Now, we will be back here in the future for more playthroughs. But in the meantime, if you'd like to see more videos like this, you can always check out our channel, which is linked in the description. And if you enjoyed watching this video, please go ahead and like and subscribe here as well. And until next time, thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching.